it's time to take on some of the best content creators and see who can create the best tactic. It's head to head time. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel with me, Andrew. Now, something a bit different. And so we're going to do some collaborations with some of the best content creators out there. And the challenge is this I have picked out some teams that are not doing as well in real life as you would expect. Now, this is picked at random. Then me and the content creator will go away. We will create a tactic we think is going to get the best out of this team. And they'll both put through a simulation for a season. Then it'll be based on points, goals scored, goals conceded, shots on target, and XG. So five elements, five points available, hopefully no draws. And we'll see whose tactic is best. Then we'll put the, the link down below. We'll upload, we'll upload the winner and see if you want to give it a go. So first up this week, we have got Steve Hood, Hood Gaming, absolutely fantastic content creator. Go check Steve's stuff out, some links down below. We recently did a, a takedown video where we won't mention the result of that. Uh, <laughs> so we all, go watch it, it's good fun. So the team has picked a random, and yes, somehow, amazingly, my team, Leo, came out. Uh, first team out the hat, obviously not doing great in Lee Gun. The champions struggling, so can me and Steve create a tactic to benefit Leo and get them up that table? Uh, me and Steve have shared tactics once we're both created, so there's no cheating. We don't know who's doing what until it's submitted. So let's have Steve tell us about his tactic and the kind of thoughts behind it. Right then, guys, my name is Steve or Hood Gaming, and I am on this video today explaining what I've done with this Leo team. Thank you very much initially for uh, allowing me on the channel. Um, and this is my Lille tactic. This is Viva la France. Um, and this is what we're going for. We got a sweet, uh, we got a goalkeeper on defend in goal. We've got an inverted wing back uh, on attack on the right hand side, two central defenders on defend duty, a wing back on support in the left back role, an anchor just in that middle spot. And you'll see why in a second, a central midfielder on attack, a Carolero on on support, a winger on the right-hand side, on attack duty, a shadow striker, and a pressing forward. If we quick pick this team uh, with the best 11 for these roles, now obviously uh, this guy cannot play because um, he is not available. He is out on loan, so let's remove him from position. I kind of want Jonathan David there and then Burak Gilmaz here as the pressing forward. This is kind of how I see this team working, and this is the kind of concept that I'm looking for. So we have the two central defenders, obviously Botman and Font. Um, the idea is the inverted wing back comes in here to kind of sit and make a sort of defensive midfield too. Um, yes, this may leave us a little bit exposed down this right hand side but that's kind of where I want this inverted wing back to go the wing back on support on the left hand side basically has free reign of this left hand side I kind of want him to run up and down this left hand side here obviously the anchor will sit as you expect from an anchor and then the Carolero will cover Jonathan Bamba, hopefully running up this right-hand side. So he is a winger on attack. He will be running up here, up and down this uh, right-hand side. And then obviously balancing, kind of balancing out those runs on the left-hand side. You've got Renato Sanchez, again, sort of striving to get forward in these key areas. And then obviously we've got Jonathan David and Barack Yilmaz up front. I was trying to build this team around Jonathan David to see how I thought he could do. Um, obviously he can play in a number of positions, but I thought Shadow Striker was the best one um, playing uh, just off of that pressing forward of Birak Yilmaz. Um, so basically when we have possession, this is kind of how I think the tactic will run. So the inverted wing back will go there, the Carolero will go out there, and the winger, uh, the fullback will kind of go up like that. So this is kind of probably a bit more like that. That's kind of how I'm seeing us in possession. Um, but obviously this is not how we're going to get on. Let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed I can beat this man. Steve, thank you very much for taking part in this. Thank you for your tactic. Uh, Jeremy P8, right back, and Zeki Chelling at left back. Hmm, okay. We're both probably trying to get the best out of Renato Sanchez as well and how to build a team around Jonathan David as probably the best FM player in the squad. Uh, because Steve is the first guest, let's run Steve's tactic first and see how he gets on.
quick reminder of Steve's tactic here, four at the back with the inverted wing back on attack, uh, offset anchor, see him on attack of course, the Carriel or Roa really like winger on attack, shadow striker and a pressing forward. How did he do? Uh, he's finished seventh on 61 points. That's not great. We'll probably take that this season in real life. Uh, 71 goals, 53 conceded is again. I think 71 goals is the fourth best. But you want to look at that 80, 90 goal scored mark, aren't you? 53 conceded is pretty bad. Uh, yeah, that's down mid-table, below mid-table. Not good. And the other ones are shots on target. Third and shots on target, 273, decent, and XG fourth. Mm, that might not cut it, Steve, I don't think. Let's look at some of the performers just to see. Uh, 27 goals for Bert Yomas, uh, 14 and 10 for Jonathan David, Jose Font, 11 goals from defence, Jonathan Bamba, 9 and 11, Angel Gomez, 4 and 11, but no one else really outstanding. So this is a tactic I went with. Uh, Gone for a back four again. Gone with a complete wing back on the right, trying to get the most out of Zeki Celik. Uh, we've both gone for that uh, CM attack, Carrello midfield duo. I've gone for a ball and midfielder on defence to be like Benjamin Andre, something like that. And then I've gone for the shadow striker behind a target forward, thinking purely of Burak and Jonathan David. And I've asked David to stay wide, so he's going to hopefully be driving in from there, but still leaving space for Zeki. And they've got the inverted winger on the left for Bamba. Kind of trying to hopefully get the best out of all the players that Leo have and see how they get on. So let's run the season and look at the results. Now we're talking Leo in third, 79 points, excellent, uh, only 76 goals scored, that might be a problem, 42 conceded, which I know is less than Steve, so we're looking in a decent position, XG third, 76, well I think that's quite close, wasn't it, uh, shots on target, well, we, might be, we might be a little bit under there, Okay, this is where I try and show off my fancy graphic in front of me. Let's see how we got on. So, goals. Steve got 61, I got 79. Point for me. Bing! Uh, goal scored. Oh, 76, beaten by 5. 2 0. Goals conceded. I, I, I conceded fewer. We fought that. 3 0, looking good. He had more shots on target by 5, and I had a 5 goal better XG. That is a score of 4 to 1. Take that, Steve. It's kind of revenge. It's one each in our collaboration videos. But there we go. So I will upload my tactic. Here, we'll put it on like FM Scout and that as well. We'll put it up there. You can download it, give it a try if you want. It seemed to work. I never checked the numbers, but let's see. Uh, Jonathan David, 20 goals, 10 assists. Excellent. Renato Sanchez, that's better. 13 goals, 9. Bamba, 12 and 17. Superb. Yilmaz, 10 and 4. Not the best. So pretty good overall. And to get, to get Leo third... I'm happy with that. Uh, five points behind Monaco, seven points ahead of Marseille, back in the Champions League. Come on, boys. Come on, me. Steve Hood, thank you very much for taking part in this. Get clicked on Steve's socials. Get subscribed to his YouTube channel. Go check out his Red Star Save on YouTube Live. Uh, excellent. We're going to do more of these. We've got some more creators lined up already. And we're going to, we're going to aim for some of the big boys as well. See if we can take on some of the best tactic guys going this year in FM22. Uh, let me know in the comments who would you like to see me try and take on. Any clubs you think we should be using in this, let me know. Excellent. Drop a like on this. Drop a subscribe to the channel if you're not already. For me, Andrew, thanks for watching. Bye for now.